Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this uh, error you might get every time you print on Windows 7. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so every time you print, uh, this error will pop up. Very easy to fix. I'll show you first of all how to fix the issue. Then I'll show you how to prevent it coming back again. So the easy way to fix it is to restart your machine, but that could take a couple of minutes. Uh, a very quick way would be to just left click on your start menu and if you type in services click on services and then if you scroll down to printer spooler and at the moment it's saying started but it won't say started it would just be blank like that so all you need to do is right click and click start and it will take probably two three seconds to start once you've done that, if you double click on it, make sure that is selected on automatic. Click on the recovery tab and then change all of these. These will be take no action. Um, change all of them to restart the service. So if the, re if the service stops in the future, it's then going to restart it and it will keep on restarting basically until it starts. So once you've done that, come out of here. Uh, and then after that, if you click on start menu, go to de devices and printers. And on every printer, if you repeat the step, I'm going to show you for every printer. But if you just right click and go to pr printer properties, click on the advanced tab. This is the driver that uh, that printer is using. So if you just Google HP Business Inkjet 1000 driver, um, if you go to, for example, here it will be the HP. So if you go to the HP website and download the latest driver, uh, if you save it to your machine, if you then click on new driver, next, and click on have disk, and then point, uh, point this to where you downloaded your driver to, and then click on OK, and then follow the steps to update the driver. Um, as I said, repeat that process for all of the printers on your machine. Uh, once that is done, if you then restart your machine and the issue will go, will go away. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.